chemistry developed between Tannehill and Julio Jones since they've been out here working uh, the more extensively? Yeah, it's been nice to get out there together and watch those guys uh, put in the work and do some things physically. I think it's been uh, you know, a step in the right direction and certainly a, a work in progress. But uh, those guys are pros, as we've discussed before. You know, I'm seeing exactly what I anticipated as those guys working uh, together to get on the same page. You guys didn't really have much of the first team offense at all in the, in the preseason. Do you, do you expect at all that you know, maybe a series or two or – you know, there might be a little rust to get get knocked off there. Or? You know, the way we prepare and the expectations we have around here, the standard we have around here, uh, I expect our guys to go out and play to that standard. You know, we don't um, make room for, for you know, a lead up or a ramp up or knocking the rust off. We expect our guys to go out and, and uh, play hard, play physical, and play a great effort and finish. So. Do you ever think back, your, your first game as a coordinator was in this same stadium, wasn't it? Years it ago? was, yeah. And, and, and you won. Have you ever thought about, you know, much about that, that experience and now getting to, to do this now in the same place? I, I have in the past. You know, uh, this week it hasn't really uh, come up. You know, I've been focused on Arizona. Uh, I'm certainly very, uh, very blessed and have had a really fun career. Uh, had some really cool experiences. There are times to remember those, and then there are times to be focused on the task at hand. And this week I've been focused on the task at hand. One like, I mean, it's Exciting, exciting for everybody. What's it like for an OC starting a new season? You worked all off season. Uh, do you sleep much the night before? How, how does that kind of go leading up to the game? Yeah, I think if you've put in the work and the preparation, uh, there's a lot of peace and comfort that comes with that as the, as the week goes on. And so uh, I'm excited. Uh, you know, it's going to be a great opportunity for our guys to go out and play. This is about the players. It's not about the OC or about my experiences. It's about them going out and being able to cut it loose and play fast. AJ and then Zaven coming in to that defense. How much of an impact do you think those two guys will make? And what's the preparation, you know, process with individuals coming into a defense you can watch last year? Yeah, two extremely talented players. Obviously, we have great familiarity with JJ and and all his uh, accomplishments throughout his career and, and being in this division. Uh, you know, anytime you you add impact players, you know, you have to account for them. Uh, but we're going to let our rules uh, do the work for us and and let the chips fall where they may. Do you feel like you you want to dictate to the defense what they do versus how much? Well, if they're showing us this, then we have to do some you know something to counter that. Yeah, I think there's a balance between your identity and stubbornness. You know, and I think uh, we have an identity, and we'll have ways that we want to do things and schemes we want to run, and then we're going to have to adapt and adjust to things that maybe we haven't seen on tape or or unscouted looks. So uh, there's a balance there for sure. You know, I think that our guys work really hard uh, to be, you know, fully prepared and, and like I said, let our rules uh, take us where we need to go. With this rushing attack, it seems like patience is big. Like Derek could have negative one, one, then 70. How do you kind of like handle that, keep hammering away and keep loading that wagon with the back like that? You know, again, I think as part of our identity, you know, we're not uh, we're not in the business of letting other people dictate what we do or don't do. So uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer in the process. We believe in uh, physicality and effort and finish around here, and that includes, uh, you know, our, our posture as we go about the game plan. I feel like you've gotten a good picture of Josh Reynolds and what what he can bring to the offense. I know he's kind of been in and out of training camp with the with the injuries. Yeah, I think Josh uh, fits in a similar boat as Julio. You know, he's a He's a pro. Uh, we've seen on tape his ability to uh, handle multiple roles in different positions. Um, and, and although he's had some uh, ebbs and flows of his availability, you know he's shown his professionalism and his dedication to his craft. So, uh, looking forward to seeing what Josh can contribute this year. For us, you, I guess the most about Chester and his ability to kind of come in here, kind of carve out a role for himself. Yeah, he's a guy that just uh, consistently produced in his one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know, and throughout the course of camp, you guys were out there, you saw him put in the time, uh, you know, works very hard on his craft with Rob Moore and, and you know, his man-to-man -man route craft and, uh, you know, operating in the slot there for us and operating outside as well. You know, uh, he's a guy that I think, you know, has shown some dependability and that's a, a big trait uh, when you're back there uh, deciding who to throw the ball to. The guys you can depend on tend to get targeted. Good. Your third down running back situation kind of uh, a, a mystery to everybody until you unveil it, and is that going to be a game-to-game -game 
situation or uh, situational thing? Yeah, I think it could be task by task, you know, assignment, uh, you know, that's required of that player. But we have a, a number of guys that have worked extremely hard uh, in our protection schemes and learned our third down package, you know, that we feel like, uh, you know, we have some options there and versatility there. Uh, but, you know, certainly I think that can change by, uh, by game plan and, and what we're going to ask that guy to do. A clear guy at right tackle yet? Do you do you need that to emerge? We'll uh, we'll let that unfold as it as it unfolds, and any announcements that come from people above me, uh, you know, can come from people above me. But we just uh, we're proud of that group for how hard they've worked and the competition, uh, what that has brought out of those players. Uh, we're fortunate to have a, a number of guys there that that want that job and that are uh, working hard for that job. So, pretty veteran group overall on offense. Can that help? You know, in, in a training camp like this, where you haven't necessarily had all that much time together. Yeah, I think uh, I think I think there's some of that same as translation, right? So it, even if we haven't had a chance to necessarily run a bunch of reps at a certain route or a certain run scheme, they can relate to something that they've done in the past, right? And that certainly helps the the transition, or uh, you know, helps us to kind of navigate some of those early bumps. What do you like about what you've seen this preseason uh, from the offense? You know, I, I think, again, that competitive spirit. I think guys uh, wanting to play our brand of football. I think guys buying into the way we ask them to do things. Uh, those have been the encouraging pieces to me throughout the course of, of August and, and, you know, now into September. Um, you know, that, that's a foundation that was laid even before I got here. And, uh, you know, I'm just proud to be uh, standing up in front of a unit that, you know, wants to play that brand of football. So. Has your uh, has the offensive coordinator position changed much in, in your opinion since the last time uh, you did it? You know, are there different things that you're concerned with now, maybe as before? I think you know, overall, obviously the responsibilities are in large the same. Uh, there's always kind of different dynamics within staffs, or you know, different ways that uh, meeting schedules and things like that may shift uh, how you do your job. But uh, you know, ultimately, my my purpose remains the same in this role. So. I, I hope so. You know, I, I hope I've learned from uh, my experiences. I think the first discussion I ever had uh, as we gathered, you know, was that I try to learn from every single day, every single experience I have. And I hope I'm a better version of myself uh, today, not just as a coach, as a man, as all sorts of uh, different titles uh, than I was, you know, back in 2017. So.